Hey guys, let us make an implant crown. Select it, go to the crown module and this becomes a working model. This is our antagonist. We're going to hide the antagonist. We're going to go to the wax up module and bring in a tooth. Following that, we're going to select the tooth that we need. So choose teeth, mark your premolar, delete the unwanted and place the tooth and then we're going to manipulate this tooth into position. Something like that. Once you're sort of happy with it, we're going to put this one into the correct collection in the crown module. Now we have all three objects in the correct collection. Next what we want to do is we want to, to get a part over there. So we're going to go to the components module, this is a J-Dental, and we're going to select that one which comes into the middle. I'm briefly going to hide this one. In transparent mode we're going to select that and using the B key for box select, we're going to link that scan body up and we're going to rotate it. Alt H to unhide it. Then I'm going to use the G key and the R key to sort of put it into a semi position. Following that we're going to go to the alignment module. So go there, this becomes my moving. We're going to use the paint on method. So this becomes my moving. And this is my destination. We're going to color the moving. So I'm going to select all, A to select all. And then we're going to apply that and color our destination. I'm going to go into transparent mode, use the C key, brush all, all of these vertices to make sure they go on the other side, apply, select both and perform ICP. This is looking quite good. Sometimes the scans aren't 100% so we see a little dab there but uh, generally speaking I think we've got a good alignment there. Then back to the components module, select it and then select your model being cut. This puts it into transparent mode. I'm going to select the analog sleeve, it's called analog lower score sleeve. We're going to select it and we're going to bring that cutter up and the cutter down and then we're going to cut the model and this will finish the implant analog model. Right, so I'm going to hide the scan body and this is my little analog which fits into the model. We're going to go back to the components module and select our implant interface. Back to J Dental, this time we're going to go for the abutments and we're going to choose our abutment. I'm going to pick one of those. Again I'm just going to hide this one, go into transparent mode, select it, B box selected and bring in this component. This is my select destination and move match to the, the destination. Great. Now we're going to go to the next bit to um, make our implant crown. Back to the crown module. This has only changed color but it's still in the correct collection. Nevertheless I'm just going to pass it through one more time. Great, so from here we're going to mark the contacts which are with this one over here and I'm going to just paint the contact area like this. So this is a pretty new feature that we have. We're going to create the surfaces. We're going to duplicate this one. This is a procedure we take. Shift D to duplicate. Select, select and we're going to then survey the surfaces. And this is because we want to get a straight path of insertion with this cap, this interface. And then block it out. 
Right, we're going to select these, these two, these are our contacts. Then we're going to expose the antagonist. Now the antagonist, we're going to slightly offset that. We're going to apply that offset. Then we're going to take this tooth, this is our restoration, and we can then see this in live edit mode. You can see how it, it's actually cutting while we are moving this tooth. So here I want to reach a compromise. I don't want to cut all of the tooth away, but I also want to get the buckle corridor correct, something like that. We're going to trim this restoration. Next, we're going to go to the implants menu, implant crown menu. We're going to select our interface and then we're going to create this assembly for it, which actually makes a tube and it makes a cutting, a screw hole cutter, like that. I'm going to select my tooth, I'm going to go into edit mode, and I'm going to bring this tooth out just a little bit. So essentially I'm gluing it onto this part over here that it is thick enough. Also, I see there's a huge overlap over here, like a ridge lap. I don't really want that. I'm going to move this inwards a little bit. So this is a very powerful tool that we have in Blender because we can manipulate the mesh very easily. Okay, we're going to go back to object mode and now we're going to combine and connect all of them by generating this fixture. Note here, we're a little bit thin as well for the screw channel. So in so doing that, I can sculpt and make this a little bit bigger, thicker. We'll just remove the mask. Clear mask. I'm going to use this one over here, which is like a blob tool. Be careful with the blob tool because it is actually quite aggressive. Select your crown and then generate the implant fixture. I'm going to view this, Control i to select the inverse and hide, and this is what it looks like. Now, of course, we'd like to smooth that down a little bit. Smooth down, and smooth that downwards. So this is quite a bit of an overhang, which I don't really like, but if we get rid of all of that aesthetically, it's going to look quite a bit different. Of course, we'd like to look at the tissue pressure in Blender using Alt and B on the keyboard. We can actually see a cross section. This is a very powerful tool that we have. Essentially, we're seeing on the inside of the model. Perhaps just a little bit of tissue pressure. Great, now we're going to make the hole going through it. In transparent mode, select your cutter, bring the cutter up a bit. Select your tooth and select fixture and cut the hole. And this is now what it looks like. We are almost finished with this implant crown, but we still want to do the contacts. Go to the contact creation, view the contacts, select both of them at the same time and create a cutter. So if your contacts are too tight or too loose, this is where you're going to change it. I'm going to select my crown and then we're going to shape these contacts. 
I think we're going to make this a little bit tighter. Like that. This contact it, uh, cutter is parallel to the path of placement as well. So we're going to cut that and then we're going to just smooth that down a little bit. I've got to be careful how I smooth it. I don't want to destroy the work that I've created. Delete the contact cutters and this is our finished crown. Finally, I can still check the thickness, control I and hide. We're going to go up a little bit where we have the crowns, the generating of the crowns. I'm going to select this and we're going to look at the heat map for this. And this will actually give me an indication of how thick or how thin it is. We can quite easily make it thicker if we um, we have to do that. So we know that 0 0.7 is the green, so we are basically in the clear over here. So I'm just going to exit and then we're going to export this crown for our construction file data. So we go finish, we're going to select this and we're going to export the crown which will then rotate it upwards like this and then we're going to export the construction data like that and that that finishes the video